Okay, I figured it out. I just forgot to do one little step here. Go into the billiard room. Look, Gloria. Gloria's Gloria Swan Song, a beautiful platinum blonde, is the Colonel's other niece and Gertie's daughter. She seems so glamorous with her long feather boa, stunning jewels, and lovely gown. You've been told that she's a successful actress in Hollywood, although you've never heard of her. Gloria is alone here in the billiard room, listening to her favorite songs. That's all we have to do here. Actually, let's see. Maybe I can take a shortcut. Maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, go upstairs to the colonel's room. This time, he will not be there. Okay, he better not be in there. Yes! Haha! <laughs> okay, so now that he's gone, we can, uh... Whoa! Look, cannon! Look in cannon! Remember, there was a brass key hidden inside, but when we tried to take it, the colonel yelled at us. But now we can take it! Take key! You remove the key from the barrel of the cannon and take it with you. Cool. Now we just have to catch the elevator that's in the colonel's room and in the library. Didn't seem to be in the colonel's room, so hopefully it's down in the library, and if it's not, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because it's a bit of a pain to go up and down and up and down and up and down without accomplishing anything. There we go. Go up. It's an interesting elevator noise. No, nope, go back in. Go up. You firmly push the handle, but the darn elevator won't move. Look, handle. No, uh, look at lever. Ooh. There is a handle on the elevator control. On the face of the control are a keyhole and the words up and down. So now that we have a key, a brass key, we can put it in the keyhole. Unlock keyhole. No, unlock lever? Yes. A faint click is heard as you turn the key in the lock. Go up. All right. What a dark and creepy attic. It helps to have the moonlight shining in through those big windows. Among all the junk, a stack of old newspapers catches your eye. I like this place up here. I like the little moonlight effect. So here are the newspapers. Read newspaper. This seems to be an old stack of 1890s editions of the Times Democrat. As you look through them, on October 18th, 1898 edition catches your interest. You begin reading. New Orleans, Louisiana. Colonel Henri Dijon came home today after spending several months in the hospital following injuries in the recent Spanish-American War. Colonel Dijon took several bullets to his pelvic and shoulder areas as he attempted to carry a seriously injured fellow soldier to safety. Incredibly, though injured himself, he managed to make it safely behind American lines. Colonel Dijon was, was duly decorated and discharged with honor by the U.S. Army. New Orleans welcomes home a true American war hero. He's going, no, 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 no. I like that. Is that why the colonel's in a wheelchair, you wonder? Well, he's obviously can do without it, so it's a mystery. Now, ah. Uh. It's dark back here in the attic. The moonlight from the large windows doesn't light this part of the attic very well. 
Through the gloom, you can see piles of uninteresting boxes and old junk. However, there is an old trunk that does interest you. Let's check it out. By the way, if you travel over here, I'll show you. Haha, <laughs> you know what's coming, don't you? Uh, whoa, 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 okay. Someone strangles us from the shadows. What a cruel choke! Ha ha ha. Okay. Yeah, so just as long as we don't do that, we're okay. We can never catch him or her or... Yeah. Let's check out the trunk. Look in, in, with one eye, trunk. Peering into the open trunk, you see old army clothing and various paraphernalia. This must be where the colonel keeps his old army gear. Lying on top of everything else, you notice a large officer's cape, a pair of le leather gloves, a colonel's hat, and a pair an old pair of army boots. Take clothes. They don't belong to you. Well, look at hat. This is a dandy looking colonel's hat. Look gloves. Even though the leather gloves are cracked and worn, they still look very sturdy. Look, cape. The cape is the type worn by an army officer of 30 years ago. Look, boots. This is a pair of large old army boots. You notice an insignia on the boot heels. Look, insignia. You see an insignia of an eagle on the heels of the army boots boots. Let's see, uh, look insignia with monocle. Okay, whatever, never mind. Well, we can get out of here now, because there's nothing else to do. Aha! Uh -huh. Remember this place? This is Fifi's room. We couldn't get in this door before. But now, unlock door. You reach down and unlock the door. Cool. Open door. Um, yeah. Closed door. I wonder if we can open it again. Oh, it can. Okay. Uh, because later on in the game it just, just kind of locks itself. Anyways, let's go into Fifi's room. Uh-oh. Rudy's here again. And now it's Act 4. Oh no! Stop it! Stop it! Get out of my room now! You'll regret that, you little vixen. <laughs> no, okay, she's just sleeping. That was intense. Look, Fifi. Fifi looks tired. She's resting in her bed. And there's some drinks here that weren't here before. Look, drink. You see nothing special. Take drink. You can't get that. Look, decanter. Looks like fine cognac. Okay, well... I'm afraid that the music's gonna pick up. So now that uh, Act 3 is over, I guess I'm going to stop here. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna be also uploading some videos onto... I think it's called like Vimeo or Vimeo or something like that. It'll be over on the right description. The quality is better, although the movements are a little choppier. I just can't win with these videos! <laughs> no. Um, okay, well, see you next time. This has been Her Crabbiness. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, everyone!